Okay, so the first thing you got to do in order to set up your, um, to start using your ADALM2000 is uh, just Google ADALM2000 and open up the first link that comes up. You're going to go to user guides. Um, scroll down to where it says users and students. And then first you got to download the drivers. Um, open up the one pertaining to your operating system. I have Windows. Uh, so open up this first link right here. And then click on the executable file to download it. So that's going to download and just, you guys know how to download or uh, install programs already. So just open that up and install it. Um, and you're gonna, go, you're gonna go back to the to this page right here, and then open uh, install Scopy. So you click on Scopy. And since I have Windows, I'm gonna open up this first link right here, and then once again, the executable file. That's all you need. And then download and. Uh, just open it up and uh, install it. I think you're going to have to restart your computer. That's what I had to do. Um, once you have that installed, um, you can you can connect your ADALM2000. Um, you have to connect it to the uh, USB port, the one that says USB. Uh, you can just connect it straight to your computer. Your computer is going to recognize it. And then also, um, this thing comes with a s two sets of cables, a smaller one and a bigger one. The bigger one is for digital I.O. And then the smaller one is for like uh, AC and DC inputs and outputs. And uh, I think the smaller one is all you need for the first lab. So you could just plug that in. It goes all the way to the left. So if we switch back to the computer, um, you can open up Scopy. Okay. So it's going to automatically recognize it. Your devices are going to pop up right here. You can just click on it, and then you can press Connect. Uh, it's going to calibrate it. And then once it's done calibrating it, you could start using it. Um, this is what the front connector looks like. Um, one plus and one minus are channel one of your oscilloscope or your voltmeter. It's basically one plus and one two and two plus and two minus. Those are um, those are your your channel one and your channel two of any like analysis. Um, basically, it's like the the inputs of this, and it's what you're gonna use to to do analysis. Um, this middle one is the ground. Uh, v plus and V minus are power supplies. Um, so, like, if you're doing the, uh, if you're using an op amp, this is going to be your V plus and your V minus. W one and W two are signal generation. Um, and then you can see all the different tools here on the left side. Like, so if we use the power supply, that's going to be pertaining to V plus and V minus. If you use the voltmeter. Um, these are the two channels you can use for that. If you use the oscilloscope, these are the two channels that you can use for that. If you want to generate a signal, then you can use uh, W1 and W2. So, just uh, as an example, I just made a basic um, non-inverting op amp with a gain of 1. Um, the first thing I did was um, plug in my ground with the black cable. I already have it all set up. I know where where ground and where every signal is on here. So that's going to be different for each, each circuit that you make. But um, And then the next thing was the power supply. The red is the positive and the white is the negative. And then the signal generator which is yellow. 
that's what I'm going to be uh, inputting into my op amp. And then I need uh, to probe it to read the voltage coming out. So I'm going to use the orange one, both orange ones for positive and negative. And then also the, the kit comes with uh, these like little headers for the pins or you can um, put them into your breadboard to to easily um, to easily connect it. So switching back to the screen, um, the first thing I did was uh, turn on my power supply. Um, you have two options: you could do independent and tracking. If you do independent, you have uh, independent control over the positive and negative outputs, so V plus and V minus. Um, I don't want to do that right now, so. I set it to tracking. If you do tracking, um, the negative output will change respectively to what the positive output is. So I just set that to 5 and uh, enable it to start it. And then for the input of my op amp, um, I'm just going to, just as an example, I'm just going to put it to 1. So I'm going to go to signal generator and I'm going to do a DC. If you want to do a DC one, you have to choose constant, and you change it to any value you want. You could use this to, if you want to change the units. Um, I just put, I just set it to one volt. If you want to do a sine wave, you can do waveform. Uh, and press run. And then I'm going to use the voltmeter to read the output coming out. Um, and since it's DC, I have to change it to DC. Uh, if you use AC between 20 hertz and 800 hertz, you can choose this one. And if you anything above that, you choose this one. Uh, but I'm going to be reading DC, and since it has a gain of 2, I should get two, 2 volts, which I do. 